You're wondering why I'm smiling? Guess what? Because I have friendship. A friendship is good, even in the hood. The reading friendship. I do not know why I turned that into a reading rainbow. It's copyright. Uh, I'm sorry, Reading Rainbow. Don't don't copyright me for singing. The, I'm singing the song, so technically it's a cover, so you can't copyright me. Thank you. Not even. I'm not making any money on this video, but one day I still won't be making money on this video because I'm gonna say a curse word: shit, dick, fuck. There you go. I just lost YouTube money right there. Once one curse comes into play, it is what it is. Thank you, YouTube TOS. For being as lame as Twitch TOS. Thank you very much for taking money away from people who actually say curse words. Because curse words are wrong. Anyways, friendship is the point that I'm talking about. Okay? Friendship. Friendship. Oh, I know all about friendship. Do you? Because you call everybody your friend. I don't. That shit is weird. First of all, you know a hundred people. None of them are your friends, probably. You probably have one or two out of the hundred. Oh my God, what do you mean? They're all my friends. Are they all your friends? Or are they just people you talk to every now and then to feel better and say to yourself, I have like a hundred friends. Uh, yeah, that's a big issue. Uh, just like me. I used to know like a hundred people. That ain't even a lie in, the, in, in fucking Manhattan to the Bronx. I knew people all over the goddamn place. And I was like, damn, I know a lot of people. But am I friends with a lot of them? No, sir. No, sir. Not at all. Not at all. You ain't my friend. You ain't my friend. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Can I get a dollar? No. You ain't my friend. Not even a dollar. I saw you with $100, though. And it doesn't matter if I got $100, though, because we ain't really friends. And I'm like, I knew we weren't really friends. You're just one of those Facebook internet people that pretend to be my friend and just like my videos and on the internet. But then when we want to chill, you don't want to chill. You don't want to chill. You don't want to chill because you're not really my friend. That's what it is. It's all fake on the internet. It's fucking hilarious. But what I'm going to talk about is what real friendship is. Hold on to your seats. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Um, basically, friendship. This is this is one that really, like, it's very annoying to talk about because it's it's very rare and I haven't had really too many friendships. And I've had ones that have lasted for fucking close to even 15 years. I know people for 19 years, believe it or not. And uh, they ended up being fake at the end of the day, even though I always knew it throughout it. But I always wanted to be actual real friends with certain people. In my head, I'm like, why can't we just ever just be actual, like, like... We're kind of friends, but we, I want to be 100%. It just never happened. So you just got to get rid of those people. But what real friendship is, is just someone that you can actually talk to. You know, actually talk. Not someone that you're like, oh, my dad died. And he's like, yeah, he died because I fucked him. <laughs> like everything's a joke. F being facetious. Look up the word fa. Facetious. I don't like facetious people. That's the person that's always making a joke out of every serious situation. I can't. It's just annoying after a while. I'm like, even your mo even your mother just died and you're still making jokes about it. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Can you talk serious for one second? Does everything have to be a fucking joke? That's weird to me. I don't know what that is. But it is what it is. Go seek therapy for that. That's just weird. I don't understand people that can never be serious. That's number one. So make sure you could be able to talk to someone, hear them out, because it's therapy for them as well. Having That's what you should do as a friend. You should also be very loyal to your friend. Let me explain what loyalty is, and let me explain to you what is unloyal. Okay, so loyalty is, let's say you know someone for 10 years. Ten, hold on, let me put some saliva on my mustache. That's the only way I think. If you ever want to talk and you want to be a little smarter and you want to raise your IQ a little much, you just go like this, a little more. You just go like that. You put some saliva on your mustache and it generates a lot of wealth, happiness, and IQ. Um, so, and this is real examples, by the way, that I'm giving you out of my life. I don't just like make shit up. Well, sometimes I do because, you know, whatever. But this time, this is real examples. Let me cross my legs, too. That makes me a lot smarter. Let me see if you can see my knee. You saw my knee? Anyways, 
You saw my knee? I got my knee. Um, holy shit, I just cut myself with my, with my toe. I think I need to cut my toenails. I think when you... Okay. Um, here's, a, here's a nice example right there. Um, so I, you can know a person for 10 years, right? They're your friend. You're like, well, we're, we know each other for 10 years. I'm naive. <laughs> I'm naive, okay? Uh, you know, you, you love me, though, right? Yeah, I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then a girl comes along that they've known for one day. Okay, so you're hanging out with that person automatically, right? Your friend never offers, barely ever offers you food, water, nothing like that, okay? A new person comes into their life, and it's specifically a girl because this is this is hilarious, actually. A girl will come that they know, no, no, they even look, they could look like, like a fucking uh, hood rat, doesn't matter what it is. They'll treat that bitch a hundred times better than they've ever treated you in your life. And you're like, after 10 years and I haven't been treated this well, the way you're treating this random ass girl you just met, you're not a real friend. You're a fucking lame fucking white knight loser. That's one big sign. Get away from friends that will treat a fucking stranger a hundred times better than you. And the funny part is it doesn't have to be a girl. But it usually is that. You'll see the way they treat the girls over you. And it's so it's actually like the most pathetic thing. I've never in my life was like, I'm gonna treat this person way better than this person because they have a vagina. A vagina. That's me fingering the vagina. Look. Wow, you're tight. I, oh my god, I, I can't even take my, my hand out of your vagina. It's so tight. Anyways, um, well, yeah. Uh, sorry. That, that was very vivid. But, um, yeah. And it doesn't have to be a girl, by the way. I've seen this just with people in general. Like, they'll have a new person in their life. It could be a guy friend, too. Where they're, they're like, oh, yeah, this is my new friend. Blah, 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 and they treat that motherfucker like he's a fuck. He's from heaven. Let me tell you something, you fucking assholes out there. When I first met you, you were very nice. Very nice. Very funny. <laughs> a few months pass. A year passes. You, you're lazy. You're like, I don't give a fuck about you now. I got you in the bag. You're my friend now. I'm going to treat you like garbage. No. That's not how it works. Sorry. That's not how it works. Learn to appreciate people. The longer i known you, the more loyalty... The more I care about you, the more I want to treat you better. It's not the other way around. It's it's very weird. The more someone loves you or the more someone's around you, the more they're like, I want to treat you like shit. I'm like, that doesn't even make sense. So just because you're comfortable with me, now you're like, I don't need to treat you good anymore. I don't even fuck you. Let me throw you out. Get the fuck out of my house. Let me invite this new person. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up, new guy? Yeah, I'm really funny and good. Hey, you want some food? You want some water? Mwah! That's how they treat the new guys. Uh, a few months pass by, not this anymore. They're like, "What's up?" Like, hey, hey. and like, then the, the the new guy is like, "Can I get some water?" And then they're like, "You get it yourself." That's how it. That's how. That's what it turns into. So people like that, you're fucking retarded. There's something mentally off with you. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, try, try to treat your friends good. I mean, the longer you know them, the more you should be loyal, treat them nicer. All these things. It doesn't. It's not. It shouldn't be a fucking decline. Like, oh, I don't like you. I, I'm gonna treat you like shit now, and stuff like that. That shit is just weird. And like I said, I've known people for a very, very long amount of years. It makes me very sad that I can't even be friends with these people because all it is is just. It feels like you're in junior high or something. And all everybody does is all they do is gossip. All they do is drama. And all they want is drama instead of being happy with each other, kissing each other, having orgies in the room, uh, 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 watching UFC fights, like fucking each other. Like, oh, I want to wrestle you. And then all the guys take off their shirt. And they're like, pause, though. This ain't gay, though. And then we're like, oh, yeah. And then I put the dick in a fucking headlock. And I'm like... And I'm like, what are you doing, man? Ha <laughs> ha, don't do that again. And then they'll look the other way and they'll let me do it again. Because they're really secretly gay or whatever. That's the type of relationship everyone should have and stuff like that. Same goes for girls in, in a pajama party. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. Oops. Then they do a dance move and then the hand grabs the boob and they're like, 
oops, I'm sorry, I did that by mistake. And then they're like, and then they start dancing. Let me see that dance move. Then they grab their boob. They're like, oops, I saw him. And then they'll both start doing the dance move. It's my party. And then they both grab each other's boobs. And then they just go like this. And then they get closer and closer and they kiss. Like, what the hell was that? <laughs> You're so funny. And then at nighttime, they're both sleeping. And then they'll both uh, magically put their legs together. And then they'll end up in a scissor position. And then they're just scissoring each other. Oh, oh, oh. And they're like, what the hell is going on? See, that's the type of friendship that everybody needs where you just end up in a scissor position. So I hope you guys learned about... Let me give you an example of that. It's a scissor, you see? Anyways, let me... Okay, so thank you for listening to this. That's what real friendship is. I appreciate it. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Uh, Twitter, uh, Discord, uh, uh, Twitch, uh, all that stuff. And by the way, if you're wondering what this amazing shirt is, this is from the band called Daughters. Not Daughter. That band sucks. Daughters. Listen to their music. Get their merch. One of my favorite bands of all time. And guess what? They're real friends too. Okay? All right. Bye. Thank you for listening to this.